Ah, the Bard I'm Khabib. Dean of Loot at the Bard's College, and no, send you? I don't give private lessons. I'll tell everyone we're ready, but we'll start the festival at dusk. Come <laughs> talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. Ah, the Bard to be. Did Viarmo send you? Glad that oh, distraction. Great. Solo performance is about over. Away. I expect to hear your earlier ah, impression tomorrow. Ah, the bard to be. Did Viarmo send? I'll tell everyone we're ready, but we'll start the festival at dusk. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get... The festival started when you do. Ah, the bard to be. Did Viarmo send you? Great! Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf.
careful with that. Welcome, people of solitude. We of the Arts College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. With the lighting of the effigy, he becomes a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Please welcome our newest Bard! Congratulations, you are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. What's more, Elisip has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisip wanted me to give you. What you're doing? Spice wine here. First cup is paid for by the college. Candy, get your King Olaf's festival. Meat pies. Try one for free. Come back for more. Get your meat pies. Get your festival meat pies, specially made. I said a free meat pie, as in one. Here's yours. I showed up to watch, yeah. I don't know if they were right to execute him for what he did, but I'll tell you something. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Listen, Rogvir and I grew up together. It was us, a few others, and Vivian. Vivian Onus. I have no idea why, but one day I told Rogvir I liked her. It was a stupid thing to do. He mocked me incessantly after that. From that point forward, every time Vivienne and I were anywhere close to each other, he made sure to humiliate me. He'd beat me up, dump meat on my head, anything he could get away with. Once he even slipped a beehive into my bed. We were children, sure, but Rogvir never outgrew that immaturity or his cruelty so any talk about him being an honorable nord <laughs> pure folly work in it i own it well okay my father owns the winking skeever but it's the family business so it'll be mine when he kicks off jarl elisif the fair poor woman losing her husband and king like that 
It was a dark day for us all. Damn. That reminds me. I have a delivery to make to her steward, Falk Firebeard. He ordered a special bottle of Strauss Mackay rum. Save me a lot of trouble. Here, take it to the Blue Palace. I was done talking anyway. Spiced wine here. First cup is paid for by the college. Meat pies! Try one for free, come back for Might more! Might as well have some sweets. Meat pies. Made them for the festival, Yorn after is the all. best of the bunch. You should hear him sing. Yorn is the best of the bunch. You should hear him sing. Thank you so much. The festival has really increased my sales. Just one bottle per customer, except for the man who saved the festival. Here's a couple of bottles for you. Well, I've got a shipment of spices the East Empire Company is holding up. I need someone to convince them to release it. Great. Get back to me when you're done and I'll give you something for your time. Oh, yes. A secret family recipe. The only good thing my father Octiev ever did. In fact, it's so good, no one else in Skyrim even tries to make any. Oh, very brisk. When the snow sets in, even the hardiest Nord needs some spiced wine to warm the blood. Good luck out there. It seems like a tough time to be wandering Skyrim. Thank you so much. The festival has really increased my sales. Meat pies! Try one for free, come back for more! When I was a young rascal, I broke a man's arm with a single punch. Of course, I had a horseshoe hidden in my glove. Debts are debts. Either he pays them, or his kind do. Fine. You sound like a priest of Mara, but I get your point. Tell him to forget about the gold. Keep your sword, Armstrong. Hmm? Always have your shield at the ready. Please, don't interrupt the court. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my... Your rule. Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction? Might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? 
I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. I've got what I came for. I better get back to Dragonbridge. I've done my part. Dragonbridge will have extra guards. Folk Firebeard will find a way to take care of the cave. It's nearly time to collect taxes on your Until next time. Here in the city, Briley. We'll need to visit each home for an assessment. Mm -hmm. Is it that time again already? Very well. Let's meet this evening and you make the arrangements. For me? The morale of our people in this difficult time. I think we shall have a grand parade. And let Fane Bryling, at your service. From the Blue Palace to Castle Dower, in all their finery. Do you have business with the court? The Jarl is not to be disturbed with common affairs at court. You direct those concerns to me. Oh, right, the rum. Thank you. I developed a taste for it after a fair weather trip to Hammerfell. Here, this is for you. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. The cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. my appointment to meet with General Tullius. There are some issues we must speak about. I'm afraid he's had to reschedule my grace. By all the cap. your kind heart. I shouldn't be. Mama says if I do, people are gonna ask about Uncle Rogbeard. Maybe if I don't talk, they won't either. Thanks. Papa talks about it some. But Mom doesn't say much since Uncle Rogbeard died. She doesn't even go to temple anymore. I wish she would. At least that way she'd have people to talk to. You would do that? That's great! You should go do it right now. That looks dangerous.
That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. The Temple of Divines is always open for worshippers. Get away from me! Don't hurt me! This spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. Old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. I'm too old to work, but that don't make me too old to drink. You've done a fine thing for me. You know, I used to be quite a warrior in my day. Let me show you a thing or two. You should speak to my daughter, Yvette. She's the brains of the family. If you need a good rumor or two, I think I can oblige. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Magic. You're on the wrong side of Skyrim. You want Winterhold. That college there, they teach it. Otherwise, you can try the Jarl's Wizard. I wouldn't, though. Well, as it turns out, I had a pet Skeever when I was a boy, and he used to wink. They were smaller back then. <laughs> Remember the winking skeever next time your foot's sore. Feel free to make requests. You should think about staying the night. Corpulus keeps a clean inn. Hello, I'm Gisley. But you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. Yes, my older brother, and the person you probably want to be speaking to right now. But really, since Torig's death, Falk Firebeard wields the true power of the Jarl's Court. My brother is nothing more than a pompous little fop. Oh, if you're looking for a good attitude, go see the Bards. They'll fake it for you, if nothing else. If you're looking for truth instead, see Noster. He's a good example of what life has to offer. And if you're just looking to feel good, go get some spiced wine from Yvette. But whatever you do, just leave me alone. We'll speak again later, if we must. Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious. But a well-made arrow strikes forth like the fury of a god. Ah, yet another new face. I'm from Hammerfell, you see. I can hardly keep track of all the people I've been meeting. Aye, but I'll be here in solitude for longer still. Fiata's skill as a Fletcher drew me to this place. I wanted to learn. And there is still much of Skyrim I wish to see. I hear there is a city, Windhelm, that is nearly white with... What do you call it? Oh yeah, snow. And far to the west lies a ruin. Volskyg. Inside, there's said to be a wall, black as night, and it speaks in the ancient dragon tongue. There are wonders in this place I never dreamed imaginable. Where the dragon attacked? We've heard rumors of death and, and fire from the skies, but no real news. Then we should soon be selling arrows by the bushel. A sword is no good against a dragon. Good to talk to a fellow traveler. Huh? By blade or by spell? If you want it dead, I'll make it dead. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is pay my fee. The blade can be as lethal as the spell, but deadlier still is the one who wields both. 
Feel right, free then. to make requests. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. And why wouldn't I be? We sing tales of kings, queens, and their politics, tis true. But do you know who really makes history? The person who writes it. Anytime, friend. I wish only to graduate and enroll with the Legion. My drums will lead our troops to victory. It's an honor to have Viarmo for instruction on drum, but it's far too reserved. Fletching right? suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious, but a well-made arrow strikes... You and me, like we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass.